they recommend doing this with two people. I've just, I've rolled this so many times now, but there's no way it takes two people. Ta-da! <laughs> teardrop camper kit off the internet. We have zero experience, but it came with a manual that has a lot of pictures. It showed up in three boxes that look like this. And we hope to make it look like this, this, and this. Please follow along as we figure this out. And make a lot of mistakes. Hi! Uh, first thing I'd like to point out is the last time you guys saw our camper, we did some fillets and fiberglass and epoxy and stuff like that made an absolute mess so I got this new handy apron and the new game is am I wearing shorts pan down feel free to comment if you think I'm wearing shorts underneath this all right take two I wanted to show you a quick catch up on what we've been doing um, we actually had some family here during the weekend and so I didn't record much, uh, but I did make some progress and just want to show you. Uh, previously, you would have saw us that we have panels one and two laid into the mold. We put in the fillets and the fiberglass on those. In the exact same process as I put in panels two, or I'm, it would have been panels three and four, stitching those to panel two. And then we came in here and put in fillets on these uh, pieces where there's a little bit more angle. And then from here on, you can see that the, if there's just really no angle, um, so a fillet wasn't necessary. It just came in with that fiberglass. After that, uh, we did stitch in the bulkhead, which was a ginormous pain, um, getting underneath and getting that into place and stitching this. So that's this bulkhead here. So ultimately, this is where your feet are gonna be. And then we also put in the galley hatch stiffener, same sort of thing, stitching that into place and then putting in the fillets as well. Tonight, I already stitched in the galley hatch ends. Yeah, we'll just call them galley hatch ends. And those uh, are supposed to be at a 90 degree angle um, to the ground. And I'm gonna have Anna go in here with the super glue and stitch those together while I mix up some epoxy, our only goal really is to just put in a fillet right there. And then there's two spots down here where I still have to put, fill in a fillet on the galley hatch stiffener and the bulkhead. So it should be fairly easy night. Thanks. It's like a perfect fillet just for his try there. How come they all couldn't have gone that way? Practice makes perfect, right? I guess. I, I, my first fiberglassing, my first fillets, my first all of it was really embarrassingly bad. Um, I feel like I'm probably only two or three camper builds away from being adequate. What would we do with two or three campers? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, just when we're not happy with the first one. Okay. And I think all this is fine. It just becomes a uh, bastard of Sandy. And then we're going to be real good Sanders. All right, hon, tell us what you're doing. This is the galley flat. And I am working on drawing the lines by connecting oops, the dots that were cut for us by the CNC machine. And I'm not following the directions to a T because I don't do math. So I'm just drawing a line down the center line. And then we're going to take the uh, stiffeners and center them up on my line and epoxy those in or glue. Yeah, epoxy with uh, cellophane. Epoxy with cellophane fill those in just to give this a little strength. It does mention that you don't need it, 
but in the event you are going to tenderize a steak, it says that they might come in handy. So more for like a heavy, but might as well add it. That's for doing. Garage dog, shop dog, Milo is with us again today. Uh, so what we did is I actually tried, I had a router bit here to try to ease the edges off on these supports on the galley hatch and it just didn't flow right. And I'm really glad I gave up on that fast because Anna just ran the planer along the edges. I cleaned it up with the orbital sander and uh, very nice. Whole point is just kind of rounding these whole edges because when we lay down in the camper, our feet will actually go under here and just look into that bang our shins up on that. Really happy with it turned out. Now we'll go do a dry fit. New toiler. We did get a cordless orbital sander. It's amazing. I love it so much. More than you weigh? I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> the relief, we will sand or kind of grind off those fingers. Go ahead and let go. It's okay. Yeah, 